hustle and hustle for the combat engineers. That's the purpose of the new universal tractor crawler known as the UET. One unique feature of the UET is the hydropneumatic suspension system controlled by the operator. Elevated to sprung condition, the vehicle runs smoothly and comfortably on or off the highway at convoy speeds, easily able to keep up with armored personnel carriers. Designed and engineered for utmost versatility, this Husky vehicle is light enough to be air transportable and rugged enough to handle the toughest construction jobs. It can perform heavy work by means of the self-loading ballast bowl, which when filled with dirt or other ballast, can double the weight of the vehicle. This additional weight provides the UET with a drawbar pull equal to the AVD-7 Caterpillar tractor, which is twice the weight of the empty UET. The hydraulically operated gate at the rear of the compartment serves as an ejector mechanism. It permits the machine to spread its load while it is in motion, being used as a scraper or in other earth-moving activities. The UET also has the bulldozing capabilities of a D7 conventional tractor. Located in the rear of the vehicle are the 250 horsepower V8 liquid-cooled diesel power plant and the operator's seat, which provides a clear view forward during scraper and loading operations. The UET has a sizable cargo capacity and can perform at relatively high speed even over rough terrain. The universal engineer tractor crawler will be used as forward echelon and battlefield equipment. It carries the lateral protection of an armored personnel carrier. In addition to its high performance over land, it can ford streams with ease. It also has a swimming capability of between three and four miles per hour. This versatile high-speed vehicle will be the primary transportation of the combat engineer units to which it will be assigned. It easily transports a squad, complete with equipment and necessary supplies, delivering them fresh and fully equipped. This testbed prototype has established the feasibility of the UET. Engineering test models are now being tested, and the Universal Engineer Tractor Crawler is expected to be type classified in fiscal year 1965.